get Mumbai property updates weekly. Kindly subscribe West Coast Realty and press bell icon. A filmy background at all. Uh, my, my father is a neurosurgeon, my mother is an anesthetist. My mother always wanted to be an actor, so it's probably passed on to me from her, and I always wanted to be an actor. Hi, I'm Radhika Apte, and welcome to my home. You're watching me on Asian Paints, where the heart is. Asian paints where the heart is. Hi, please come in. I'm just making my breakfast because I can't do without breakfast. Quite healthy. Yeah. I'm gonna have my breakfast. I think there's beauty in everything. Absolutely everything. When you're you're resilient, when you have uh, compassion and openness and kindness, uh, then you are beautiful. Uh, it depends on what you choose to see. Benedict, who is now my husband, gave me the courage because he knew a lot of people in Bombay and said, "Just let's go to Bombay and try and do make this happen." And by then, I had started getting shows in the city and all that. And then I did make the effort to come here and make this my home. He has a great sense of what, which house to live in because he, he looks at the light and he's better at uh, imagining what the house could be turned into. I'm better at turning it into that thing. Are very important things for me. Uh, when you wake up, you need to have light in your house. So I always look for houses where there is going to be enough light. I have lots of plants. That's because I've grown up around trees, so I like to have plants around me. This house has higher ceilings, which makes it look a little more breathing area and spacious. Then my teacher in school used to paint her fans with different colors, uh, which I still want to do, but I'm still contemplating exactly what color and when. But instead of that, I started painting my doors with different colors. So I have different colored doors. So if somebody asks me, can I use your loo? I go purple door. <laughs> so yeah, I think lots of borrowed ideas. I got some pieces of furniture that belonged to my grandmother, my parents, uh, small, small pieces like a chair or you know, like a stool. So we are in the living room. As you can see, I like the old furniture. I told you this is like some old stuff that I picked it up from uh, the shops here and some in Pune, like this is very old and I really love it. Uh, I keep all the spare things there hidden. This chair is very special because we got this chair made. This was actually one of the first pieces of furniture that I got made with my own money. More, mostly because my mum loves it. She finds it extremely perfect to sit on this and extremely comfortable. It's her spot. I don't sit there, Benedict doesn't sit there. My mum, whenever she visits, she sits here or some friends. As I told you, the three pieces of furniture that belong to my grandmother and I took them, this is one of them. And as I explained to you that I'm, I hold memories and I, I can't let go of things. And this is something I'll never let go. Uh, it reminds me of her. The smell of the wood reminds me of her. Sometimes the dust on it reminds me of her. This is, used to be a balcony which we've taken in and this is one of my favourite spots because I open this completely and there's such great lovely breeze that comes in in spite of it being Bombay and in monsoons it's even better so I get my tea, my night teas happen here with this light on. So I think this is this space is just one of the most important spaces for me. I had painted this aqua green-ish and then I went and I saw this colour and I really loved it and then the colour was called Blue Clover and Clover is one of my closest friends that I have and I was like Clover this is for you. 
This is my bedroom. We have a big bed so that you can just stretch and make yourself comfortable. All these wardrobes are mine. And that one wardrobe there is Bennett's. That's it. Yeah, he has hardly any clothes and I have lots of clothes. This is the only full length mirror that I have in the house. I put them so that the space becomes bigger. They reflect things, they reflect light in a certain way. This is my spare room. This is a sofa come bed for guests, so you can see how we welcome guests so much. This is all not very well kept, but I bought this throw recently. I like to have throws on my sofa because I like to fall asleep on a sofa. This wall, yeah, is bright yellow, mango yellow, because I'm going to have this wall filled with paintings, like all kinds of paintings. So there'll be a day when this will be completely filled with paintings. But I'm going to wrap with showing you the last section of my house where my work and my personal life sort of merge. This is my small tiny room where I get ready. Where I get my hair and makeup done for lots of events or look tests or auditions uh, and whatnot. Sort of makes me sort of have that distance from my pri private space to my workspace. So I get ready and literally exit. And make this into a better home and a place that will welcome people and, and have, make people feel comfortable. I think that's where my heart lies. If people come home and feel like that, then that's great. To get Mumbai properties updates weekly, kindly subscribe West Coast Realty and press bell icon.